Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be going over how you can upload your Minecraft mod pack to CurseForge. So the first things that you need to do is make a Minecraft mod pack in the CurseForge launcher. Make sure anything that you add this to this mod pack, whether it's a mod, resource pack, shader pack, or a world, is found within CurseForge. If you add any third party mods or anything third party, it will automatically be declined by CurseForge when you upload it. Then what you want to do is click the three dots next to play, click share profile, export a zip file, and then pretty much select, I usually leave it at default, but you could deselect or select whatever you want to do. Click export and then export it to wherever. I already have one on my desktop, so we're going to click this. This is what it's going to look like. You're going to see manifest and mod list. If these two things are not found within your mod pack, then you're going to have to export the thing again until you have these two in here. You may have additional files, but just make sure you have mod list and manifest file. And after that, you want to go to CurseForge. Under CurseForge, you want to log in, it might be on the top right, it might be in the center of the screen, I don't know where it's going to be. But then after that, you want to go to your profile icon on the top right, select it, click Dashboard. Under Dashboard, you're going to click View Projects, and then you're going to click Start a Project under the Dashboard. So under Project, you want to select Minecraft, and then this is where it gets into the process of making it. So what you want to do is name it wherever you want to name it. That is not my name on the mod pack, so we're going to write it out. And then you want to add a logo that needs to be a 400 by 400 pixel logo. So that's going to be that. And then what you want to do is write a simple summary. I've written one up on the side of my monitor, so we're going to copy and paste. And then what you want to do is this is actually the most important step. If you don't select mod pack under class, it's not going to upload. It's not or it's not going to create the proper page for the mod pack and you're going to run into problems. And then for main category, select whatever your Minecraft mod pack is based off of. So I'm going to select exploration. And then after that, you're going to click next at the bottom right. Uh, on the next page, you're going to have description. You're going to have to write a lengthy description. I think it's around 400 characters. It might be longer, might be shorter. I'm not 100% sure, but just make sure you meet these requirements or your mod pack will have errors or problems uh, or not really your mod pack, but the project will have errors and problems. But then after doing the description, click next. Under license, I would usually just leave it at all rights reserved, but select whatever appropriate license that you want to select. And then under project distribution, I usually click allow, but you can don't, you don't have to allow that if you don't want to. And then click create at the bottom right. Then it's going to move on to the files page. This is where you actually upload your Minecraft mod pack. So all you have to do is click add file. I've tried dropping the files and it doesn't work. So if I, it might work in the future, but under here, you're going to see upload and then choose file. This is where you can drag and drop if you do so, or just select it and select the uh, file wherever you have it saved. Uh, display name, and just would delete zip, but you can keep it there if you want. And then of course, I, I would select publish this file automatically once approved. Uh, mod loader, you don't have to worry about too much. And then make sure you select the Minecraft version. That is what your mod pack that you based it off of when you made it on Curse Porch. And then you want to click for release type. Make sure to click release. If you release it as beta or alpha, there is a chance that it actually doesn't pop up on the public page of CurseForge. So just make sure you select release and then add any change logs if you want to. Then you're going to click upload file. And then after they're uploading a file, this is where it's pretty much out of your control. You're going to have to let a CurseForge moderator pretty much view over the a review the project that you uploaded to curseforge and they will either accept or deny your mod pack if they do deny your mod pack it's going to have a massive notification screen on the description page or if i go to the project page here you're going to have pretty much this here and once if it's approved this will go away but if it's declined for any reason it's going to have this um, and you pretty much just have to fix it whatever whatever they tell you pretty much just do and re-upload it and it should work. But then I have been asked in the past how you can upload your uh, mod pack photos because a lot of you take photos of your Minecraft mod pack and you'd like to upload that. So all you need to do is click uh, media and then under media, you just click add media and then of course select the pictures that you want to upload. And that is the end of this video. Hopefully this video helped you figure out how to upload your Minecraft mod pack to CurseForge. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Any of your mods that packs that you upload that you want me to check out, feel free to drop it in the comments. Any, if you need pretty much anything, any assistance, drop it in the comments. 
Uh, you can also join the CurseForge Discord, which will can also assist you if you run into any problems, if you want a quicker solution. But I hope to see all of you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.